then oh turn it down hey y'all <laughs> i can't be copyrighted even though i always put on my videos i don't copyright this music but let me just turn it down and make sure it's low Anyways, it's Rain City Lo-Fi Hip Hop Mix, for the record. But hello, 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 raw family. Mel is very relaxed today, this morning. I'm very relaxed. It feels damn good. I took some relaxation days. <laughs> okay. Um. Anyways, that being said, Roz, how are you feeling? How are you doing? I hope you guys all were able to get caught up on only hearing one person, but the most important person on it um, was Anastasia on our first Raw Talk of 2021. The second one is coming soon, and I will make sure that you can hear the both of us, okay? My ain't gonna be dumb twice, okay? Not my mouth once, not my mouth two times, but just one time. Um, but in the meantime, I still gotta do what I gotta do, which is give you guys these feels, or they eh, 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 bug me and um continue to give you guys my dream states continue to give you guys um raw talk minis all of that it's all going to be happening i'm not gonna stop it okay guys um okay so this is your girl mellow and we are going to get into the feels all right a lot of them have been coming quickly and fast, which means a lot of you are sending vibes my way because I'm picking up on a lot. A lot. But a lot of it's good too, guys. Like, I pick up on the good ones. However, I get to be shown which ones I can share and can't share. So just let me get to them here. Give me a second. Okay. So, damn, I forgot how many there were, and that one of them is even like a photo. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just read over one of them again, and it made me laugh. All right, Roz, so let's get into it. Oh, um, y'all, can I just be raw for a quick second before we do these feels? Mello is slightly very emotional. I'm so sad, y'all. And you guys are probably thinking like, oh my God, she sat over a guy or she sat over her life. And no, it's something so small and simple. <laughs> Had to retire the handy dandy HP to get a new life. <laughs> so emotional about it, y'all. But the color's close. You can't really see it in this lighting, but the color's close. And I mean, it has its perks, touch screen, flip inside out and stuff. So I guess like I'm happy about it, but I got very emotional when I had to say bye to my handy dandy HP. In fact, it's still here. I just have it put away. But I just woke up one morning that thing said pop dong. <laughs> pop dong. <laughs> Couldn't even log in anymore. That's how you know it's, it's old, right? So now we're going to run this bad boy into the ground instead. Anyway. Yeah, I'm slightly emotional about it also, you know. If you don't hear me mentioning the handy dandy HP, it's because she died, you know. Anyways, moving on. All right, guys, let's get into these feels, okay? So the first one that I got is belittlement. I heard it like loud. Belittlement. They are belittling. <laughs> I hope belittlement is a word, but they are belittling somebody, okay? So the way that I saw it is there's like this guy, right? And he's like sitting there and you can see he's just stressed. Like this is the quick vision I got, right? He's just sitting there and he's just stressed. And there's this individual over him. <laughs> it's not funny. And they had like the gun finger. <sighs> Creepy and kids, you know. Like when your parents do this thing where they they tap you in your head. So like while they're <laughs> while he's talking, like if this is the per the man's head, the individual is like, <laughs> didn't I tell you not to? <laughs> okay. And the man's just there taking it, like, <laughs> okay. 
and it's not funny okay it's just this really makes me laugh people do this i do this and if you get me to a level i'll just see yo like it, it it's it's rude i just find it funny anyway um the person kept doing it like, didn't i take yo you're not going to go where like they're like belittling the hell out of this individual it's a man that i can see and um what i got from that is somebody you have completely given up and because you've given up you are now in this position where someone can have such a low level of respect for you that they can come and tap you in your head like this and you're just gonna sit and take it because you've just given up on life okay what i was told to let you know is stand up get up get off the floor because what people don't realize is when someone is trying to attack you or when someone is trying to put you down, if you just curl up, okay, thank you. Tell them, they can tell you thank you, you see? But when you realize who you are and where you come from and you realize nobody attacks somebody that's doing less than them, they attack them out of fear or they attack them because they're going to get caught or they attack them because they're looking stupid, you understand? Okay you or they attack just because they, they realize they're losing their power over you you need to get up that's what i was told to tell this person that i could see in like this position you need to just get up get up stand up for yourself okay it may seem scary it's really not you know what's scary when you actually stand up and you see that person turn to a little bitch and how fast it happens that is scary when you realize like damn all the time i had to just fix you you know that that's the scary part okay okay next feel um, I saw this guy and he was falling to the floor with his hands on his head and he was like, oh my God, what have I done? Oh my, like he's having like a whole breakdown panic attack because something's been brought to his attention and he's now like, oh my God, what did I, do? what did I do? Like he's freaking out, right? And the thing he kept saying is, what have I done? 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 But stay with me. His face just looks like this though. Like wherever he is or whatever, and this could be for a woman too. It's just how I see it. Wherever he is or whatever, wherever he or she is, the situation that you're in, this is happening in your mind. People don't really know how you're feeling. Like this is happening inside of you and you just look like this. Yeah, I'm straight. Yeah. But inside, sorry if you guys heard my tummy grumble, I have to eat my breakfast. But inside, you're like, oh my God, what the fuck did I do, bro? How did I not know that? Like, you're freaking out, okay? Calm your mind. Go hold the meds if you do that. Um, shoot, write out what's in your brain. Like, if, okay, I'm, I'm getting, okay, thank you. I'm getting that this individual has nobody to speak to, no one to talk to. Like, not even one right now. Okay, you talk to yourself and God. Get a book out and start writing your thoughts down. If you have to write, oh my gosh, what did I do? Did, it may seem crazy, but you need to get it out. We, we harbor things sometimes, feelings, emotions. You need to find ways to get it out, okay? Get it out, okay? But make sure you get it out in a healthy way, okay? Um, Moving on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I felt like a fool when this happened. Okay, so I went to go hold the meds outside. And then I was walking like, okay, I came back inside the apartment and I was walking down the hallway. And as I was walking down the hallway, I got to like this metal container and like, okay. So I was walking quick time and I looked back for one second when I turned around the metal container there and I was like, woo, like it freaked the crap out of me, right? Okay, this is the hot joke, right? Yeah, I walk past that metal container every day. Like I know it's there. I don't know why it freaked me out. But I, I always know that it's there. So what I got with this, I literally put, it looked a little different to me at first glance this time. And I put that something or someone you are used to just showed them real selves, just showed their real selves to you by accident. Like they genuinely did not mean to slip up like that. But they just showed you who they really were by accident. And you caught it. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay. I remember this feel now completely. Yeah. I was, I'm usually never surprised by that metal container. But for some reason, by me looking back and catching it at a quick angle, it's like there was a quick flash. Okay. 
So I had done, or I didn't do, that's a whole lie, Mel, fix it up, I lied. I had liked a video on YouTube last year and it was this guy literally talking about shapeshifters about um women he's talking about women in particular he's in the music industry or was not in that industry and he was talking about how women's faces were literally morphing and changing in front of them yeah because the spirit behind them that ain't that ain't the light succubus incubus i've speaked about this before men and women that just know that a man is very sexually needy and will take your whole life that way your whole life that way will drain you of all your energy and all your finances that way with her vagina or her sexual energy. Incubus succubus. Do your research, y'all, okay? I can't get too deep into it right now. But um, yeah, what I'm getting real quick from this is thank you. Because I had no idea where it's coming from. Somebody that you're used to seeing all the time in a beautiful light. Like this girl's perfect. Like she got, you see it all the time. Or this guy is perfect. Like so all the time. You're going to see them in either a situation or on a certain angle, quick glance. They're not going to know you can see it. Ooh, they're not gonna know you caught it. Oh, I love when it happens. It happens to me all the time. I catch people do something real quick, or I see it real quick, and I'm like, mm hmm. And I just keep it cool. Okay. Until I have to handle it. Okay. This individual did something, but they did it quick, and they didn't realize that they did it, but you caught it. Whoo! 1313 13. okay you caught it okay i'm being told to tell you yes what you think you just saw and you were like what the that yes you caught it okay fraud okay okay fraud they're a fraud okay so you caught it you did catch it okay oh i just got hot i know what that means okay you caught it we're getting these messages out you caught it okay so you're not crazy or whatever make moves okay um another what did i just do okay um touch green y'all get used to it um i also had put that another take on it is that you use okay okay thank you what I just got is that the other stance on it is that somebody used to scare you. They used to be able to scare you. They used to be able to put fear in you. Um, they used to be able to cloud your mind, make you feel that something isn't going to work or make you feel like it's a bad idea. Uh, it's not working anymore. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry, y'all. That's a laugh for me. Something is not working anymore. And because it's not working anymore... This person's starting to act crazy and they're starting to act crazy because they're losing control and because they're starting to act crazy they did something that you peeped and you caught and you realize oh you crazy no i ain't going with you <laughs> okay um and they're gonna they're trying to be like intimidating and it just don't scare you anymore like it used to like make you freak out and now you're like yep yeah, go sit down okay 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 i'm getting like a girl and she comes and she's like yo I'll freaking slash your tires, yo. I'll freaking, I'll go to your mom's house, yo. I'll freaking, I'll go here, yo. I'll punch you in the face. And you're like, go ahead. And the fact that you're like, go ahead, they're fretting. They are scared of you now. Did you hear me? They are scared of you now. And I'm being told they should be. <laughs> Moving forward. <clears throat> okay <laughs> and then okay so then i got another feel and i called it shape shifting and what i heard is that someone is now looking really bad and dry up like somebody wanted okay somebody wanted someone to look old washed up dried up hair not growing beauty okay hair not growing beauty not flourishing somebody wanted to mash up someone's smile what how? okay um so oh okay somebody wanted somebody's body to just blow up and no longer be cute cute or attract somebody just didn't want someone to be attractive but what has happened by them wishing them bad things on somebody they are now the one who's look, all them things skin looking mashup teeth looking mashup smelling mashup body mashup 
hair mash up, everything mash up, okay? Nails broke up, everything. Everything's mash up for this person, okay? Um, and then the other, and then that person that they wanted it to happen to is looking healthy, is looking cute, is looking bad as hell, has their body together, is hair flourishing, smile tingling, and we made you smile today. Um, nails, so everything, everything, like even past just the physicalities, like career, family, everything, it's, it's flourishing, okay? And it's going backwards for that other individual that wish bad. I have mentioned this before, y'all. If you wish bad on people or you try to set them up or what did I, if you spell work and kind of things, it, it's going to backfire. I tell people that all the time. You cannot, <clears throat> based on my research, you cannot force somebody's will to do something. You are not God. You don't have that authority. It doesn't matter how powerful you think you are or whatever spirit you think is powerful or how it, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um... I'm being told to tell you, you have wasted your time. Goodbye. You have wasted your time. Goodbye. And they did it with that voice too. Goodbye. <laughs> like it's a computer. Goodbye. Your system is going to shut down. Goodbye. <laughs> that's, that's how I got it. Okay. The next one that I have is... Um, I'm just going to read it because this one's long, okay? As you guys know, for those who are just catching on to Raw Talk with Melo now and who Melo is, I get feels, I feel people, and I pick up on the scenarios and situations, whether it be through a vision, whether I'm smelling it, whether I'm tasting it, or whether I'm hearing it, okay? Um, and sometimes I get them at so often that I'll stop and write them down if I feel the need that I'm supposed to write them down to share with you, and then I share with you when I do these episodes as I go along, Okay? These ones are for this year, starting in January. You see, we're not even that far, and I already got these, okay? <laughs> and these are the ones I can just find. A lot of them, like, I lose them. I write them down, and I lose them. Okay, so I'm just going to write, read out this one the way I see it, and that is trying to focus on a project or trying to focus on a relationship or a job or some sort of an assignment and all of a sudden, you notice specific people keep trying to distract you. They try to distract you constantly from your work, okay? Whether they're making little noises, they're always talking to you during your morning routine, they're always in your face, they're always in your space, they're always in your business, they're always asking... You know who, you're, who I'm talking about, okay? So I see people keep trying to distract you constantly, and once they notice that you're always working on this project, and what I'm being told to tell you is to stay focused, whether you need to be dry or whether you need to tell these people, listen, leave me alone. Why are you everywhere? Why are you? Just ask them straight up. Why are you always here? Why when I'm recording, do you have to be right there? But before you were somewhere else in the house the whole time. Why when I am like, for example, like why right, right, right when I'm taking care of myself, you now want to talk. Stuff like that. Okay, so don't allow anybody to throw off your routine. The reason why they're doing that is because they're trying to catch up and they cannot. And they're also being thrown off and not focused. So keep yourself focused, okay? Um, I put here, it's an old, outdated tactic now. You see it coming, so you're brushing it. So this is this is something that you were used. To, you probably grew up seeing this behavior all the time, and now you're so used to seeing it and calling it. You just dismiss it, just brush it, move, move, remove yourself, please. Excuse me. You don't even give it your energy anymore. Okay, it's a distraction. This whole individual is a distract distraction. You've been shown that either you either you notice that, or you've been shown that, or you know it. Okay, and you're ignoring it. No, they are a distraction, and you need to focus. Okay. Okay. Another one I got, and I think I had tweeted this one, is I have been smelling fear lately. Like, there is a group that is scared shitless right now. There's two, okay, there's two groups, two different groups that are scared shitless right now, okay? Um, a lot of people are in fear right now, is what I've been feeling. Why? I guess I didn't get why, okay? Um, I'm not sure why you guys are all in fear or this group is living in fear. But what I was told is that there's an individual while all of this is happening, while people are in fear and everything. And I put 
Um, I'm not sure why, but you're going to get to laugh about this all soon. Like, you're going to get to laugh. I don't know if that's a bad laugh or a good laugh, because you know I have both. So I don't know, but that's how I got it, okay? Um, my hair always gets caught in my necklaces. Okay, um, moving on, next one. For one of you, and I put in caps, it is time to cut the cord. Cut it. <laughs> cut it. Cut the cord. No copyright. Cut the cord. Okay, one of you, you need to cut the cord. I don't know what that is. It is something you have outgrown. It is something that, it could be anything. Okay? A job. A hobby. I don't know. A pro. I don't know. Okay, whatever it is, you need to cut the cord. You realize you need to cut the cord, but you're like avoiding cutting the cord and you don't realize if you don't cut the cord you're gonna stay there okay um i put whatever cord that may be it's time whether you're ready to do it or not so what i got from this is either you're gonna do it yourself or it's gonna be easy or god's gonna do it for you and it's gonna be more painful the choice is yours but either way it's getting cut so the choice is yours okay um okay a court case <clears throat> freedom from realizing that the hand of the perpetrator oh okay i remember this feel okay i don't need to read for this feel so what i got for this feel right is that there is a video being used in a court case it is a falsified video and uh the prosecutor knows it and so does a few people in the jury including a judge, a judge is in on this. One judge in particular is in on this, is very aware that the documentation is false, is very aware that the video is falsified. In fact, also has um, officers assisting them in the falsified documentation. Okay. So somebody in part of their affidavit or whatever it's in, they have put a falsified video, okay? I mean, if I'm saying it right and whatever it would be, but it's evidence and it's a video. Now in the video, this person, um, you can, I'm being told that you can see the person's hands in the video. I don't know if it's like arms down, but I can just, from my, what I could see is like here down. So you can see like here down on both. So you can see both hands. Skin color looks similar. The weight of the person dressed looks similar. Body type, everything looks similar. Because the reason why I'm saying it's false is because it's meant to, um, what's the word I'm trying to say? It's meant to set someone up. It's meant to, you know the word that I'm trying to say? It's meant to fall, frame, thank you. It is meant to frame another individual, okay? Make it seem like this individual is the person doing it in the video, Okay. During the court case, though, it's all going to blow up because somebody is going to play it and it's going to show a slightly different, like a little bit more on the edge or something. I can't I can't explain it. This is how I saw it. It's the same video, but it's showing slightly more. And in that video, you can clearly see that there is a, ta for example, I have this tattoo, right? Okay, say I'm the person someone's trying to frame, right? Yeah, in that video, yeah, this tattoo is not in it. You get my drift? So somebody tried to frame someone and they're trying to act like they're them in the video and they're using that video and a judge knows it's a falsified video. So, so does, for people on the jury, a lot of people, this is, a, this is a whole framed court case. Everybody's framing the defendant. The prosecutor knows somebody and that's how they're framing the defendant. Clear, I just got it. The prosecutor knows somebody or they have someone that can pull strings and they are falsifying documents for the defense. Okay, so like I said, for example, say that they have um, the video. Thank you, got sidetracked. They have the video and while they're doing the video, you can see this person doing everything and they are like, yes, that is you to the defendant. That is you. You are in that video. And all of a sudden when this comes time for court date, like in the nick of time, they're going to realize, wait, hold on. 
it's almost like the defendant's lawyer is going to be like, hold on, can you pull that back? You see right there? Yeah. And he's going to tell his client, show your hand. And it's going to show that it's missing like a whole sleeve or it's missing like a, 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 a particular tattoo or something, right? Okay. The reason why it's going to work and prove this person to be innocent is because the date and the time of when this individual got the tattoo is somehow made note of somewhere and the date and the time of the night that this happened or people trying to say that this person committed this crime yeah they either would have already had the tattoo because okay i can hear I can hear, okay, I can hear the people being like, oh, they just got the tattoo afterward, but the date and the timing isn't going to be right. And that's going to be that person's freedom. That's kind of crazy. But, and also what I put here is you have been wrongfully charged already. So like you were already wrongfully charged about this. And it's about to, or it has just come out. Okay, so this either just happened or it's happening today. Like it's about to come, or it or it just happened, or it's about to happen today. That's what I'm getting. Okay, today is January 12th. Okay, um, yeah, it's about to come out. And I put here that I heard that the lawyers. The lawyer that was aware of this was falsified document and the judge who was also aware of this falsified document are both now in a panic. Panic for their careers, panic for the panic altogether. Okay. Okay, another feel that I have been getting as I keep hearing the song every time I close my eyes by baby face. You should go look that song up, it's really sweet. But I literally woke up a day and the bad boy played like five times in a row. And my bad boy was not on repeat, it wasn't on nothing. Okay. Um, my electronic had taken over all the time. So, um, what I got from that is that every time somebody closes their eyes, they dream, they daydream about someone. You guys stop. That was emotional. <laughs> That's so cute. That is so cute. Or like every time they go to sleep, they dream about you. Or like something like that. Ross, somebody love you. Someone love you behind. Okay, somebody loves you. I love love. <sighs> okay, don't cry, mom. Okay, yo, people be like, I love you, and I'm like, oh, I was like, cry instantly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a baby. Okay, um, moving on, moving on. Okay, so I was. This is a serious. <clears throat> I feel like I look crazy because I go from like a funny feel to like a serious feel. But this one is serious, okay? So one morning I was sipping my orange juice. You guys know I like my orange juice or my green or my um, peppermint tea, green tea too in the mornings. Anyway, I was sipping my OJ this one particular morning and it tasted funny at first. Mel likes pulp. You gotta have the pulp in there, okay? It tastes a little bit funny. Like when I was like chewing the pulp afterwards, I was like, this tastes a little bit weird. So I even like went inside and physically picked up the jug to look at it to be like is it expired and it wasn't expired okay um it was good so what i was able to get that is this one of you you drink something all the time i had i feel like i had this feel already last year too but anyways i hate repetition but all right obedience um one of you, someone added something to your drink. Like say orange juice. Maybe it is your orange juice. If you're like me or someone who drinks orange juice, somebody you live with or somebody that does your groceries for you or whatever, they put something in your orange juice. I'm just, I don't know. I'm getting strong OJ. Orange juice, okay? It could be any drink, but I'm getting orange juice. Anyways, focus mom. They put something in your orange juice because you left it in the fridge. You know how you're going to know this? Yeah. Test it out. Say that like this person usually drinks the orange juice. Okay, thank you. I got the feel. The re okay. Let me stay focused first. This part first. 
you need to stop drinking it immediately. When you get that funny taste and you're like, nah, I'm tripping. And you read the expiry date, it's not expired yet, throw it out. Okay? I know it's gonna suck to have to go purchase more OJ because OJ is expensive, but just pour it out. Okay? And get more orange juice. Okay? You're not crazy. Follow your instincts. Follow that intuition. I've been teaching y'all to follow your intuition. Okay? It is God given. Everybody got it. Okay? Um. Oh, yes. What I was going to say was this. You need to get rid of it immediately. And before you get rid of it immediately, I want you to test something out. Here, Mellow. Okay? That's how you're going to test it out. Before you throw it out, yeah, pretend to drink it. Make this individual so you drink it. Okay? Okay. Listen to me carefully. Okay? Make this individual see you drink it, whatever it may be, right? This is how you're going to catch it, okay? Offer some to them. Very casually, very simple. Offer some to them. Especially if it's a drink that you know that they like to drink. Offer it to them. And while you're getting ready to offer it to them, I also want you to go in your mind and think about, have you seen them drink this juice? at all this particular week i've been told to say week have you seen them drink this juice this particular week this person's going mod that's what i was just told to say this person's going mod okay so i don't know why it's supposed to be okay it's supposed to help you understand what i'm saying this person's going mod you see them going crazy around you offer them a drink or i'm um, okay okay i'm getting for somebody you're about to go out and whenever this person brings you a drink yeah Give them some a drink too. I guarantee you they're not going to want to drink it. And you're going to know. Okay. Um, Where am I at? 35 minutes. Okay, I think I'm going to stop it at there. I don't know why I feel like I had another field though. One second, guys. Sorry, y'all. Okay, we're back real quick. I knew I was missing one. I had it on like a little random paper. Okay, so I had got this quick view or quick vision, right, of this group. There's two groups at war, like on the battlefield, like old days, right? They're at war. They're at war. And it is light versus dark. You guys know I talk about that all the time, spiritual warfare. It's happening right now, big time. So there's the light versus the dark. I'm aware of a light. Don't play that side. <laughs> I stayed on my light side, okay? um yeah they're both at war the lights at war and the darks at war and they're warring like they're brawling okay like brawling okay no mercy and um while this is all happening i got that a white bird is gonna soar straight to the leader straight to the leader of this group of the dark side or whatever or that's of the dark yeah it's not of the light and the bird's literally gonna sacrifice itself I'm getting chills just thinking about it, yeah. In the middle of this battle of light versus dark, a white bird is going to fly straight over from the light side and it's going to sacrifice itself and it's going to fly straight here through the leader of this group of the dark side and go straight through their head. The bird's going to kill itself, sacrifice itself for the greater good and take out their leader dead, clean, in the coffin okay and um it's going to f as soon as this happens like it goes like the whole bird sacrifice itself put itself right into the person's head killed them instantly the whole entire dark side as soon as their leader is gone is going to retreat quick quick and while they're retreating the light side still just done it up the dust done the rest of them up from the back just, just from the back just from the back like no mercy no mercy even if you're retreating no mercy even if you're retreating okay um the battle's over the battle's won is what i'm being told to say okay um now the next feel that i had got is baby 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 that's exactly how i wrote it down okay and that's exactly how i got the day i remember because i thought i was tripping like you guys know what happens i was like what is happening okay 
somebody you are going to have a child you are going to have a baby um the birth of this child is being blocked because they know how powerful this baby is going to be i'm getting hot okay no this feels getting out a child is meant to be born and is being blocked because individuals know how powerful this baby is going to be sorry guys white stuff gloss problems you know yeah and they know how powerful this baby is going to be they know i was being shown at the birth of this child the purpose behind this child the ikigai behind this child is you can't even fathom it what they're going to do for this world okay especially at these times um sorry i'm trying to read my writing because i wrote it really quick Okay, thank you. This child is also very important because they are going to be a guide, but a specific type of guide. Powerful, but specific. And I asked what it was and I was denied. So I don't know what that is going to be exactly. But what I was being told is to say that the baby's going to happen regardless. Why is it rec oh right because it's trying to be stopped okay okay yeah got it so the baby is going to happen regardless somehow this child is going to be conceived and it's going to happen and this child is going to fulfill its purpose in this lifetime i'm being told in previous lifetimes the baby was not able to be brought into this world or fulfill its purpose but this lifetime it's going to it's inevitable it's inevitable it's inevitable it's inevitable. I just keep getting that. It's inevitable. Okay, got it. It's inevitable. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right, guys. Those are all of the feels for today. Um. I hope that... You guys still aren't freaked out and you're trying to understand what it is that I do and who I am. And that I'm kind of normal, kind of, not really. I'm a weirdo, weirdo queen over here. Um, but yes, I will continue to give you these feels. I will continue to give you these feels. But I always tell you guys two things and that is spread love and always keep it raw. Have a good day, y'all. And I will see you soon with the new raw. <laughs> I'm loving these. Okay, bye.